Hello, everybody. It's Wayne Walker again, and during this discussion forum, I'll be discussing uh, discussing uh, the works and influence uh, around John Gresham Machen. Uh, Machen was born in, into wealth in Baltimore, Maryland, in 1881. However, his parents gave him something that was worth a lot more than wealth or something money could buy, and that was a solid Presbyterian upbringing. Machen was schooled in the Westminster Confession and the New Testament. He attended John Hopkins University, uh, studied theology at Princeton Seminary, and philosophy at Princeton University. Machen was known as a fundamentalist for his beliefs in the original doctrine of the New Testament and the Westminster Confession, subordinate to the Bible, and was ordained. Uh, Machen was ordained in 1914. Machen's battles began with uh, battles with modernism. Excuse me, began at Princeton Seminary, where he argued that modernist Christianity and the and biblical Christianity were two distinct religions. Fundamentalists believed that the Bible to be the absolute doctrine of Christianity and that Jesus was the Son of God, born in the flesh and blood, gave his life on the cross for man's sins, uh, and that society should must conform to the Holy Scripture. In addition, fundamentalists believed and preached the virgin birth, miracles such as walking on water, and the resurrection of Christ. Modernists, however, believed that the Bible was the work of man and that the Holy Scripture needed to conform to society. While teaching at Princeton Theological Seminary, Machen began to see the seminary uh, was beginning to sway in its beliefs in regards to fundamentalist views. This forced Machen to leave uh, along with colleagues and founded the Westminster Theological Seminary. Machen, concerned about modernistic tones accepted by Presbyterians in the missions, founded it formed, excuse me, formed the Independent Board for Presbyterian Foreign Missions in 1933. <clears throat> excuse me. However, the Presbyterian General Assembly uh, in the dates of 1935 to 1936 found that the Independent Board for Presbyterian Foreign Missions was un unconstitutional. Uh, after that time, Machen uh, went on to found the Orthodox Presbyterian Church in 1936. Uh, Machen was a masterful New Testament scholar and prolific writer. Uh, it, it was in his work in Christianity and Liberalism, 1923, Machen argued uh, that liberalism was not just another brand of Christianity, but a completely different religious system altogether. Uh, in the debates between the modernist and fundamentalist views, John Machen was one of the most notable uh, proponents of fundamentalism. This brief discussion about John G. Machen uh, has but scratched the surface of his foundings and influence in the Presbytery as well as overall Christian belief systems. Machen was a conservative champion of traditional Calvinism and highly regarded fundamentalist. In a troubling period in the American religion, uh, excuse me, in American religious history, as can be observed uh, by the November 1934 New York Times article entitled Presbytery Upholds Modernist Preachers. In that, um, in that New, uh, New York Times article, it's very short, uh, but on November 21st, there was new fuel added to the fire. Uh, the Chester Presbytery voted uh, 51 to 16 to ordain two young graduates of the Westminster Theological Seminary uh, that was started by Dr. J. Gresham Machen and a group of associates describing themselves as Bible-believing Christians. However, there were those that did not believe that those two young men should be ordained and they tried to fight against it and uh, the school, the seminary fought back. Uh, I'll read the last part of it because I think it's important as to show the times um, and the battle of the fundamentalist movement with, with uh, the modernist. The Westminster Jersey Presbytery has before it an overture which, if approved, would reopen the Foreign Missions Board controversy before the 1935 General Assembly. 
it would have the General Assembly instruct the foreign missions. This is where they're telling the foreign missions what they are exactly to do. All literature published by or in the name of the board be thoroughly evangelical and loyal to doctrinal standards of our church. Uh, it is essential doctrinal teachings of the Christian faith are, are not maintained, but to send out as missionaries only those who believe the doctrinal teaching of our church without mental reservation and to remove the modernist. So they were going out for the modernist and trying to prove that the modernists were wrong and that fundamentalism was the way to go. And that all started with Dr. J. Machen. Thank you.